Oh, it's you. I didn't see you there. Sorry, I've been away so long, but I've not done very much birding. There is, however, a couple of trips out in this video. I uh, had a couple of lunchtime walks down Nafton Beck when it was nice and sunny. Oh, those were the days. And I also went to Skern Wetlands once with my kids and once without. Both times it was a bit, bit miserable in the end. And finally, um, I had a really poor effort at twitching the Stainforth rough leg buzzard. So without further ado, let's have a look now. Go. Hey everybody, I'm here with Abby. Say hello, Abby. Hi. And Izzy, Izzy's pretending to be shy. Uh, we're just here at Skern Wetlands. Um, we are, are we just looking for some birds? looking for, we are looking for some birds. We've just had a lovely male sparrow hawk on the track as we came in. Cormoran, yeah, and uh, Heron. But we're hoping for great white eagles because there's been a couple reported around. So we will have a look for those. I keep saying this, but we, we still keep sit, not seeing them around here. But we'll have a look. All right, cheers. This is quite nice, though. Some crush up on the woods. Right, that's right. I'm here at Skern again. Uh, yesterday didn't go so well, so we're. Uh, dropped the kids, uh, left them at home, and now we're going to go and have a look and see what we can see. All right, catch you in a bit. So we've heard Chetty's warbler and we've seen um, a little egret as we come in, but the first thing we actually record on the reserve is a blackbird, of course. Okay, so I've just flushed a couple of marsh harriers out of roost unexpectedly. Didn't realise they were this end, they're usually the other end of the reserve. So these are the same two guys that I saw yesterday. A couple of marsh harriers have come straight out of the reed bed. Um, they were obviously roosting down this end. Um, there's a third one actually joined them down the other end. I can see at the moment. Um, you can see behind me. Here's a little scrubby bit of reed bed we've got. And then uh, I'll turn the camera around in a second, and you'll be able to see the main reed bed, which is made up of uh, what what was the fish farm pools. Okay, we're just coming up to the main viewing screen for the reserve. It's uh, looking a bit sad after the winter. Hopefully they managed to get a few more reeds in here. Now, Marsh Harriers breed here. That's a sort of known thing, they publicize it. And last year it was great fun watching the food passes, especially with my kids. Now, this is only a couple of miles from my house and this is a really nice spot just to spend a short couple of hours, especially, well, I like it on an evening. When it's warm but also obviously it's stacked with reed warblers and sedge warblers and reed buntings just a really top place and there's a nice little population of chetty's warbler and if they've made it here i hold hope that they'll make it into the muddy ditch round the back of my house Just flying over. I'm going to hear a great spot of woodpecker in the background. Cormon going over along the line of the river. Okay, so 
So I'm out walking along the brook in, well, the back in the uh, village again. Um, it's lunchtime. It's an absolutely corking day. It's actually quite mild, although it was very frosty this morning. Um, it's probably about eight or nine degrees now. Had lovely views of Kingfisher along the river, although not particularly close. And then I've just been watching a buzzard uh, following the plough just across the way. And uh, that showed really nice. He had a really rufous tail. And it's just been moving around the field, watching the farmer crack on, really, trying to pick up earthworms and the like. There's been a massive flock of winter thrushes, fair and redwing, just in the uh, field over here. And uh, I've just had three snipe go over, which is unexpected. Little egret situation seems to be fairly static. There's been two birds this morning. Uh, this morning, this lunchtime. Uh, one roosting in a tree further up the river and then one sort of pratting around beside the, uh, beside the water. So, but all said, not a bad little wander. I haven't really managed to film a great deal, so I'm not sure what you'll get to see. But fingers crossed we get a little bit more as we're heading back to home. All right, cheers. Good afternoon. You'll find us making a slightly muddy, sludgy trudge here. I'm at Stainforth near Doncaster, and uh, I happened to be going past. I thought I'll go and have a look in to see if I can find the rough leg buzzard. Because I haven't seen one of those for a little while. Rough legs, one of my favourite raptors. They are absolutely full of charisma. I don't know what it is. There's just a bit more about them than a common buzzard. If it's the white in the tail or slightly longer wings or just a hint of the Arctic. So I'm gonna go and have a look, see if I can get some footage, maybe some photos, and hopefully I'll get to show it to you guys in a bit. All right, catch up in a minute. So this is just a common buzzard. Light shocking in this direction. It's one of two I've seen so far, but no rough leg yet. So I've just got up here, I've just looked at the field next door. I'm just having a look around this flash. This is where the bird was last reported in the last half an hour. I can't see it at the moment. Found a jay and a common buzzard, but no rough leg currently. So we'll keep going, but the light is starting to 
starting to think about being an issue. Fingers crossed. Okay, so slightly unexpectedly, there's a green woody across the way. Just having a preen, but now it seems to have calmed down. No sign of the rough leg yet. <laughs> 